I smell celebrities. to Celebrity Big Brother 2007. Yes, 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 my friends. It is that time of year again when in the depths of darkest winter, something kind of... Oh, it's quite beautiful house. Uh, very, very soon, that house will be full to bursting point with an assortment of celebrities, especially for your viewing pleasure. Um, but before we find out who those celebrities are, I just want to give you some information uh, for you Celebrity Big Brother fact fans out there. Okay, celebrities are going to be stuck in there for longer than ever before, walking 25 days. Fact. There'll be more celebrities stuffed into that house than ever before. Fact. Big Brother will be just as devious and just as twisted as ever. Fact. Okay, in a minute, uh, I'll be showing you the house itself, which has had the decorators in, especially for our little celebrity chums. Um, but before that, oh, let's have a little reminder of why Celebrity Big Brother is our favourite way to start the year. In March 2001, for the first time ever, we could watch celebrities 24 hours a day. I have the one thing that so many people don't have, common sense. With wish you were here. Now I just want to know do I still have a career? And very soon the cracks began to show. This is Big Brother. With Vanessa, please come to the dive. Series 2 saw an all singing, all dancing house. <laughs> and Mark Owen proved he was back for good when he won the nation's hearts. In series three, the house was packed with big characters. How are you feeling, John? Don't start that nonsense. I want my dark coats and I want my milk. Please come back at any time to talk oh, to me. Shut brother. up, shut up! Sisters are doing it. Doing it. You may as well stay. Get it? I'd appreciate if you didn't show this bit on TV, me in the diary room dressed up as an egg. Could you do that for me? And there was one catchphrase that was on everybody's lips. Yeah, I'm bracky. What's your specialty yeah, in life? No specialty. Besides being a pain in the ass. Yeah, exactly. If she hadn't been here, I'd have been out. Good news for you. If I'd known you were here, I wouldn't even showed up. <laughs> and you voted to make one happy Monday very happy indeed. <laughs> Last year's Celebrity Big Brother started with a twist. From now on, you are a pop star. That's all right with me. <laughs> there was some flirting. Chantel, if I didn't have a girlfriend, I'd marry you in a minute. Oh! I'd marry you too. Some friction. Shut the f up. Don't tell me to shut the f up. I said you shut the f up. And then there was this. Would you like me to be the cat? <laughs> Poor You're me, flying the poor, me poor me, poor me, pour me a drink. You're insincere to the point of nausea. What have you been up to? Mr. <laughs> Tack Tracy, for the hell of it. Oh, I <laughs> but in the end, it was the non-celebrity who took the crown. So, who's moving into the house this year? It's time for Celebrity Big Brother 2007. any celebrity bits there? Anyway, it's time now to check out the house. OK, so I'm going to hand on, hold on to the handrail here as I go down. I've got quite high heels on, and I'm sure there'll be a few high heels going down these stairs tonight. And here is the front door. Are you ready? Brace yourselves. I'm going in. OK. Hi. 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 Okay, so let's have a look at the living room. <clears throat> it's 
Still the same, sort of slidey and spongy in that lovely blues and pinks and blacks. I'm going to go into the bedroom because there's something quite uh, great about the bedroom this time round because single beds as normal, got all the celebrities sleeping in one room, which in itself is quite an achievement. Celebrities all sharing the same bedroom is quite tricky. But this, for the first time ever, is a double bed. Now, there are not sufficient beds for each housemate. Two housemates will have to share this double bed. Now, I just want you to picture this in, in your heads, heads for a moment, right? That I'm going to be lying here, right, as a celebrity. Can you imagine being a celebrity and waking up in the morning next to a celebrity that you don't really know? Look at them going, Ugh! Look at them. Or even worse, what happens if, you know, you're married or you're missing your loved one and you, you, you forget where you are and you do little spoons in the night, you know, spoon, spoony. Spoony, rude, brilliant. Right, okay, let's go into the bathroom. Now, this is the bit that I think is quite tough because the bathroom, right, is much, much smaller than the bathroom from the summer. I'm trying to picture all these celebrities in this one tiny bathroom. You know what celebrities are like. They like to make themselves look nice and pretty and everything. There's just no space at all. It's going to be really crowded in here. Now, this is your first and last look at the shower room. Um, there isn't a camera in the shower room, obviously, because uh, celebrities don't like to uh, let you see them with their kit off. Um, and also, there's a loo. Celebrities particularly don't like you seeing them when they're trying to do a poo. Um, and also, we've got the sinks here, brushing teeth, all of that. Love it. This is the kind of insight that I like getting into the celebrities. You know, how do they brush their teeth? Do they pick their spots in the mirror like we do? Do they? Do they? Are they real? Are they real or are they fake? Um, here's the living area. Um, <clears throat> on top of that area over here, we've got a bit of a chaise long and we've got the poofs are back. Um, they're bigger, squishier, you know, nice with the celebrity bottoms in there. And obviously, um, we bought the dining room table inside because it's way too cold to eat outside during winter. I think it looks rather good here, doesn't it? Um, and the kitchens here, uh, all the mod cons, you know, the celebrities, they love their mod cons. Um, inside, outside theme, um, continuing. And look at this. No celebrity is complete without a hot tub. Hello. Look at this hot tub. It's so hot, it's steaming. It's got little molded seats for their celebrity bottoms. It's, and it's got so many jets. It's got three jets right where your bottom is lovely. I'm going on a lot about bottoms, aren't I? I'll stop now, I'm sorry. Um, OK, seating area over here. Got a kind of farmyard feel a little bit with some topiary. Um, over here we've got a pig, over here we've got a duck. In fact, it's quite topiary-tastic today. Um, we've got lots of lovely trees all around here, a couple of topiary balls on either side of the bridge to nowhere. So we're going over the bridge to nowhere, back to my little topiary friend uh, from the summer. I bet you've been a bit lonely, haven't you? Yeah, they're coming in in a minute. Brace yourself. Um, so we've got lovely, soft, squidgy seats here. But, oh, oh, I'm just going to enjoy this a little bit because these seats are heated. Oh, can't enjoy that. OK, um, so the celebrities don't get cold, you know, poor things. They're going to be really slumming it in here. Um, gorgeous grass, as you can see. Um, lots of plants everywhere. And I'm going back into the house now to a little area. Um, I was going to call it the gym, but actually looking at it, I can't really call it the gym. It's not sort of enough. But it's a workout area. I think we might have some fine bodies coming in here which might want to train and some not-so-fine bodies that may want to use the next three weeks as time to get fit. Probably not, but they may. You never know. And this is... Is this a dog or a sheep? What do we think? Sheep, dog... Dog, sheep, don't know. Um, um, do you know what? I'm going to go around this way. Um, right, I want to show you something else. <clears throat> Look at this. This is a silver square thing. It um, does look pretty boring, but actually this little slit here will be a way for you, the viewer, to communicate with our housemates. Now, what we're going to do at some point during the series, we're going to offer you the chance to pose questions to our housemates and you send them into Big Brother and then Big Brother um, will select a few to put through here and ask our housemates. So that is a first, a chance for you to be able to ask our celebrities any question that you like. In fact, the more probing and interesting, the better. <clears throat> now we're going to go to what is basically the most important room in any Big Brother house and that is, of course, the diary room. And I have to say... <coughs> 
In all the series um, of Big Brother, I think this is my favourite diary room. It's very warm, it's very cosy, it's very womb-like. And Lord knows I know about wombs. And um, it's kind of an environment where you'd want to share, you know, little secrets, little things. Anyway, all we're lacking now uh, is some celebrities. Are some celebrities? All we're lacking now are some celebrities. So that's enough of the house. Let's get some celebrities in here. I'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> Welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother. And without further ado, let the proceedings commence. Ladies and gentlemen, it's housemate number one. Hi, I'm Jermaine Jackson. When I started out with Jackson 5, I was 10 years old. Michael and I were the lead singers. We had a lot of number one hits. We knocked the Beatles out of number one spot twice. The best memories I've had from the Jackson 5 days is playing concerts and never getting to play the end of our show because the crowd would go so crazy. They would rush the stage and the stage would collapse and the fire marshal would have to shut the show down because it was just too much excitement. 2003, my brother had a court case, and, and we knew from the beginning he was a thousand percent innocent. And it put our family through a lot, but we were strong because when we came out here, we had each other, so that just gave us a chance to pull together e even closer. We would never lose that. Nobody can take that away. I, I have servants here, yes. I do the, the white glove test. And I'm very um, picky with germs, very picky. I, I won't touch door knobs in public places or things. I'll, I'll wait till someone else opens the door or I'll take a tissue or something. The Big Brother house, I, it's, it looks very interesting. Do we do the cooking? I, I really don't know, but I'm a very picky eater. Mike, Mike is going to watch. It, my, my whole family's going to, well, they can't see it here, but they... Um, they're probably going to go online and see it, oh my God. I'm very private, very private, and I'm still trying to figure out how did I get into all of this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jermaine Jackson! I can't believe I'm standing next to Jermaine Jackson. Oh, yeah! Um, I just want to ask you, firstly, how are you going to cope without your servants? Well, it's, it's the challenge. It's, it's all about the challenge. <laughs> Has Michael given you any advice? Um, he's probably watching some kind of way, right? Do you think Michael Jackson's watching? <laughs> yes, of course. Where, where is he? Where is he? Michael's in Vegas right now, but he has a way of seeing everything. And, and what about Janet? Janet's um, in Lo Los Angeles. And um, can you moonwalk? No, Michael didn't teach me. <laughs> Michael didn't teach me. Um, and listen, just wanted to ask you one more thing. If it all goes wrong, you could always blame it on the boogie. Blame it on the sunshine. Blame it on the sunshine. Don't blame it on the boogie. You're right. Listen, Dre, thank you so much. In you go.
It's cute. Hey, listen, I just thought of something. It was, don't blame it on the sunshine, blame it on the big... So I was right, actually. Do your homework, do you <laughs> OK, so that's the first of them. I think he likes it. Shall we have another? Hi, I'm Danielle Lloyd. I'm most famous for being stripped of my Miss Great Britain title and going out with Premiership footballer Teddy Sheringham. In February 2006, I was crowned Miss Great Britain. There was a little bit of scandal. I had my crown taken off me. Apparently because I was dating one of the judges, Teddy Sheringham. But that's just not true. We met in the after show party and we hit it off from there. I don't consider myself a wag, but if you probably asked Ted, then he'd probably say, yeah, she is. All she does is go out and shop. <laughs> Well, when Teddy rings me, guess what rings her rings? Oh, Teddy, Teddy. Teddy knows what I'm like every, every morning when I wake up. He's like, oh, you're going shopping again today. Ooh. <laughs> I've got most of these already. Now I'm not Miss Great Britain anymore. I'm a full-time model. I did pose nude for Playboy. I knew that I would be nude, but I didn't think that you'd be able to see anything. So you can imagine what me shock shock horror I could actually see. My breasts. <laughs> Teddy probably thinks it's a good idea to get rid of me for a few weeks. Stop me from going to the shops and spending the money. Lights, find your lights. Now, Danielle, I know that you told Teddy just before you were going, um, just before Christmas, wasn't it, that you were going in? Yeah. Now, that's not that long ago. What did he make of that? Um, I think he was a little bit surprised, but he's um, proud of me, so. What did he say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound very proud. No. Was he worried? I think he was a little bit worried, yeah. And is he here? No, he's at home. Is he? Is he watching, though? Yeah, he's at home watching. Hi, Teddy. Hi. Um, so, listen, what's your ambition in life? Um, just to be happy. That's it. And so why are you doing Big Brother? Um, just to let people see the real me. And that, now you are a wag. You are a self-confessed wag. That's OK. Um, but what does a wag actually mean? A wife and a girlfriend of a footballer. <laughs> Well done, she passed! OK, wait. Get ready to go where no wag has been before. Thank you. Off you go! 
<laughs> it was very surprising, yeah. It's cold though. Very cold. Very, very cold. Oh, mind you, I'm used to it, mm. the weather. Yeah. Oh, you, you're from here? Yeah. <laughs> you're from, uh, from the Los States, Angeles. yeah. Los Angeles. Have you had a look around? I, well, this, this room is closed. I was gonna. I don't think she knows who he is, and because he thinks that she knows who he is, he hasn't said who he is. I love that. He's that famous. He just thinks she should know. Right, let's make the duo a trio. It's housemate number three. And action. I'm Ken Russell. I am the most famous English film director. I've won three BAFTAs. I directed Tommy. I'm called controversial occasionally because um, occasionally I choose controversial subjects. When I directed um, Lawrence's masterpiece, Women in Love, sex just sort of um, drips from every page. I used to be described as the enfant terrible of British films. Now I'm regarded, I think, as the grand père terrible. I, um, I found that the best way to encourage people to act properly is to make them relax. Cut! And to, to um, uh, let them have confidence in that you know your job. Action. Cut. You, you were in a different position. You weren't right. Yeah, I know you don't want anything I suggest. It's only crap you want. So what are you doing? No, not on my double chins. This will be your last job. I was glad I was asked to do Big Brother because I, I'm fascinated by the, um, the programme. It, it is a very strange situation to put people in. Some could say it's like going to paradise for, you know, three weeks. Others could say it's like going to hell. And um, it'd be fun finding out. Hot! It's Ken Russell! Turn around, turn around, that's your camera. 
You know about camera angles. Oh, yes. Now, Ken, which, which of the former housemates that you know would you most relate to or identify with? Mad Pete. Mad Pete! Yeah. We like Mad Pete. And hey. it's one thing... Mad it's, Pete! It's one thing being a Big Brother fan, but it's another thing entirely being a housemate. How do you think you're going to find it? I just know him to take Big Pete. <laughs> Let's, let's, hope, let's hope it helps you in some way. Ken, Ken, steady on. Right. Ken, why do you think people might nominate you? Come on, let's get you up the stairs. Oh. Come on. Please excuse Ken's language. It's not clever. It's not funny. It's all right, don't worry, they'll all be watching you. Yes, the door. We're going to the big door. It's going to be oh. good. Did you ever think you'd be going into Big Brother no. House? <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> we'll get you in. Good. Come hell or high water. One final goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so who's watching at home? Oh, uh, Big Brother. Big Brother? Big Mother. My Big, big Brother. Mother. And my Big Mother. So I'm going to help you down the stairs. Come on, Ken. <laughs> There's jolly steep stairs, aren't they? Well, no, These uh, ones. Yeah. They're cosy, though. Very cosy. It's quite exciting for me because I'm not normally allowed in, in this bit. Not? No. You, oh, well, we've got special dispensation. Special dispensation just yes. for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And then I'm going to leave you at this door and run away because the door won't open until I've left the top stairs. Ooh. So I'm off. You wait there. It opens by itself. I'm going to run and you need to push the door, Ken. Push okay. The door. Go. Anyone here? Hello. <laughs> nice. I've got a welcome committee. <laughs> How are you? Yes. I, I know of you. No one knows of me. Hi. I'm an old English film director. Hi, I'm Danielle. Hi, Danielle. Good Hi. to see you. You How look you? very glamorous and healthy. And in your name? Ken Russell. Ken Russell. Oh. Yes, an old filmmaker from way back. <laughs> so, uh, what films have you made? Uh, you probably never heard of them. No. Oh. <laughs> They're so ancient. Really? Do the you... Devils, Women in Love. That's so bizarre, isn't it? Fantastic. Ken Russell was doing an impersonation of Pete. It was, it was, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't particularly nice, was it? But I don't think he meant it in a nasty way. Right. So there we have it. There's one of the members of the Jackson Five, brother of Michael, a legendary motion picture director, and one of the country's leading wags. Panto has started already. And I'll tell you what, that's a sentence I thought I'd never hear myself say. Anyway, some additional facts for you at home. Jermaine says he just loves London, uh, especially the Tube, and in particular, the Central Line. <laughs> Ken has size 12 feet, and his hat size is extra large. And Danielle's favourite TV show is Heartbeat, and she thought that Winston Churchill was America's first black leader. See you after the break when we'll be throwing in a few more. Welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother. OK, so far tonight we've seen Jermaine Jackson, disgraced former Miss Great Britain, and Teddy Sheringham's Mrs Danielle Lloyd, plus one of the most controversial filmmakers ever, Ken Russell. And they're about to be joined by housemate number four. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jo Mara. And I'm known for being in S Club 7. I loved being in that band. I hated it as well. It was a real love-hate relationship with S Club. It was just such an emotional roller coaster and you were so jet lagged all the time and you didn't sometimes we'd wake up and not know what country we was in i remember once we woke up we thought we was in ireland and it turned out we was in taiwan <laughs> i think the only time that i felt we'd made it as a band 
was when our first single, Bring It All Back, was played on EastEnders in the cafe. After the band finished, I've released a single called What Hurts The Most. Um, and then it all went horrifically wrong from there, really. <laughs> At the minute, I'm into breeding the dogs, so the dogs are taking up all my time. What's doing? I wanted to give dog breeding a go. Uh, I don't know whether it was a good idea or not now, because I've not slept in nearly a month. Probably will see a completely different me in the house than what people might think of me because people only really know me from being on the stage. I don't put on any airs and graces for the camera or be someone that I'm not. I am what I am, scatty old Joe from Rumford. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Joe O'Mara! A couple of questions. I know there ain't no party like an S Club party, but how does this how does this stand? I am absolutely terrified. I can't tell you how scared I am. <laughs> Have you told any of your old bandmates that you're coming in? I've hardly told anybody, so hello band if you're watching. <laughs> and is there anybody that you absolutely would not like to see in that house? Um just anyone that's horrible, which is probably gonna happen, no my luck. <laughs> and and also just why are you doing Big Brother? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Do you think, though, you might bring out a single after you've done it? Sorry? Do you think you might bring out a single after you've done oh, it? Oh, I don't know about that. You did have the best voice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and who's looking after the dogs? Oh, I've got my family looking after the doggy. Can I have one? You can. OK, bye. Off, to, off you go. Yeah, go, go. I'm terrified. I'm Ken. Oh, I'm Hello. Ken. Hi. Oh, nice good. to meet you. Good, good. <sighs> We're all, all terrified. Yeah. I, I think. So. I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah. I've been so ill. Oh, have you? Well, d well, not. You're Ill, recovering. Ill. No. Yeah, I'm just a bit shaky. Yeah, very. Yeah. It's quite small, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is quite small. There's going to be lots of them all crammed in there. OK, no rest for the famous. Time for number five. Hi, I'm Leo Sayer. You make me feel like dancing. I want to dance the night away. I feel like dancing. I had a number one record in the States. Very, very fast reaching number one. Also got me a Grammy for You Make Me Feel Like Dancing. And then that was followed up by the next single, When I Need You, which also went to number one there and all over the world. When I need you, I just close my eyes and I'm with you. It's only a heartbeat away. Things were incredible for me. I mean, I just had hit after hit after hit. 
I was getting sort of awards and, 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 and gold and silver and, and, and platinum records from everyone. You know, like Rod Stewart, like Elton John. Yeah, I was, I was in there really punching at that time. Yeah, then recently it's all come back again, really, because um, I've had Thunder in My Heart, which was a, a song I originally recorded and wrote in 1977. Yeah, it went to number one last year. You live it all over again. I'm really good at cheering up a room, and if people are depressed, I'm, I'm so positive. And I'm quite amusing as well, I'm quite funny. I don't think I've got too many negative qualities. Eh, eh. Eh, 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 eh. Let's make the house the Leo house. Yeah! Let's make it a Leo sayer all day, every day. <laughs> something to do in January in the rain, you know. Um, I live in Sydney now in Australia and it was a great opportunity to come over and spend some time in the UK. Good excuse, eh? And so, so it's good. Yeah, great to be here. Everybody all right? Now, you said you don't have any bad qualities that you can think of, so why do you think people would nominate you? I don't know. I don't know. They might find I talk too much. And when you're in there, do you... Th I can be too entertaining. <laughs> problem sometimes yeah. <laughs> um, and when you're in there do you think you'll feel like dancing oh get out of it no but i'll put a thunder in your heart <laughs> and leo the house is up that way <laughs> Go <out of> the <laughs> way. <laughs> Hello! Oh my goodness! Oh, Jermaine, God. how are you? Nice what? to see you, mate. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm so nervous. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm very well. How nice are you? to see you. Mwah. How's it going? Hi, Hello. I'm fine, yeah. Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My dear boy, how are you? Okay. Nice to see you. I don't know who you are. You Leo Sayer. Oh, I don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I thought yeah. you were a bit older. No, you're I, right. Well, I am, but... No, you're not. I'm holding you're up too all right. <laughs> you're too how are you doing, folks? How have you been? Yeah, how are you, my dear boy? Nice to see you. <laughs> I love it. Jermaine and Leo, who'd have thought? They know each other. Oh, Jermaine sort of looked like he might not be quite sure who Leo was. But anyway, um, so as well as the Jackson, the Wag and dear old Ken, uh, we've now got an XS club, uh, a clubber, sorry, that's very hard to say, XS club, club, and a music icon. Okay, and I can tell you that Jo would like Kathy Burke to play her in a movie of her life and that her favourite hobby is playing slot machines. Classy. <laughs> and Leo's real name is Gerard, but a friend thought that his curly hair reminded her of a lion and hence the name Leo. Okay, so join us. Oh, really is like Panto down here tonight. Uh, anyway, join us after the break when we'll be squeezing two girls and a boy through those doors. Welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother. Okay, we've already met Jermaine Jackson, disgraced former Miss Great Britain, Daniel Lloyd, the enfant terrible of the British film industry, Ken Russell, uh, ex-S clubber, Joe O'Mara, and Leo Sayer. And there's no let up, it's time to meet housemate number six. Hi. 
Hi, I'm Shilpa Shetty. I'm an Indian film actress and lucky enough to be one of the most well-known film actors in Indian cinema. They've recently touted me as the Indian Angelina Jolie. I don't know how to react to that, but it's cool. <laughs> in India, everywhere I go, I do get recognized. And get all this and, and so much more in terms of love. I honestly truly feel that I am special. It would scare me maybe if people didn't recognize me and people didn't want to know more about my life. I'm very synonymous with glamour. No, I don't like this low angle. Hello, welcome to my humble abode. And please meet Champagne. Being a celebrity is really tough. It's not easy to be an actor. I constantly travel with an entourage and I know I won't have that in Big Brother's house. I thought it would be incredible for a Bollywood actor to go there and showcase not just Bollywood but also Indian culture. No, I don't put in 100% into everything I do. I put in 200%. <laughs> Even if I was a maidservant, I would want to be like the best maidservant in the world. That's the way I am. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm Bollywood welcome to Shilpa Shetty! Bollywood? Uh, pretty much the same, just that people know me slightly better there. <laughs> but we're going to get to know you. Yes. And, and have you ever actually seen Big Brother, the series? Uh, not too much. They've just started something like this in India. But it's the same format. So you haven't really seen it at all? I really seen the UK version. Brilliant! You're in for a treat. Now, is there anything you're very nervous about? Nothing really. I think... God's been really kind and I think this is a great opportunity and I, I just want every Indian to be extremely proud that I'm in here, yeah. And, and you normally have an entourage. Yes. Are you going to miss them? Oh, uh, definitely. Yeah. It's hard, isn't it, without an entourage? Okay, Shilpa, good luck. Thank Off you. you go. Actually, would you like me to help you up the stairs? Yeah. Yes. Good. Good luck. Thank you. Hi, Daniel. Hello. Shilpa. Joe. Hi. Hi. My hands are really, really it's cold. It's cold out there. Right? Hi. Hello, Shilpa. Hi, Leo. Usually I say it. Hi, Shilpa. <laughs> I'm going to say Hi, Jim. Shilpa. Ken Russell. Hi. Hello. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Lovely oh, to see you. How are you? Cold. Cold. <laughs> and I hope we don't exchange our bags. <laughs> no, no, we keep doing that already. Well, I nice. think this one's <laughs> hard oh. still. <laughs> oh, my God. It was so cold. 
Oh dear. Is this and you're so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> it is quite interesting. Okay. She's so beautiful, isn't she? I can't stop watching her. And poor little Danielle. Danielle looks like a little lost puppy. Anyway, time to meet another. Hi, I'm Karen Malone. I'm a columnist on the National Newspaper where I give a very forthright views and opinions. I have the best job in the world because what I do, I'm allowed to say what I think, and it, it's a privilege, it's a joy. I have not been complimentary about people who go on reality shows and come from nowhere and get famous, and get famous for just being on television. Um, I, I don't really approve of that. Lindsay Lohan? Waste of space. Yes, WAG's interesting. Girls who just spend money for a living, I don't have an awful lot of respect for. I really do enjoy a good argument. I couldn't do what I did if I didn't. I think people might think I'm a tough old bird who's got too much to say for herself, when the fact is I'm actually quite a sensitive little soul. I'm, I'm a pussycat, really. I'm, I'm quite nice. I mean, I know what you want, uh, but also you have to have what I want, so... <laughs> do we get any of that? I don't know how I'm going to be with a room full of strangers. And the fear is that I might make a complete and utter fool of myself. As a journalist, this is big for me because, you know, every other tabloid journalist is trying to get into the house, trying to get information about it. I'm going to be in there. I'm going to know what's happening. And that's just... That was too good an opportunity to miss. I'm going to be right in the middle of the story. Please... Please welcome Carol Malone! <laughs> Hello, darling. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye -bye. See you soon. Bye bye. Previous celebrity Big Brother housemates. <laughs> I knew you were going to do this. Got to do this as a bunch of morons on a reality show. Yes, here I am. <laughs> now, what are you doing here? Um, as a journalist, it's something I couldn't not do. Every journalist in the country wants to write about this, and I've got a chance to be in there. Are you frightened? Because you know you've pulled yeah. no punches when it comes to talking about yes. celebrities. You're going in there with a bunch of celebrities. Yes. Are you frightened what they might do to you? Terrified out of my life. But I just couldn't say no. I had to do it. And, and what about your fellow journalists? I mean, do you think they're going to be as, as tough on you as they are on the other celebrities that are in there in the house, or are they nice to you because you're a journalist? I, I'm hoping my friends will be nice. The rest, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so we might get some scandal on you if you've got any hidden skeletons in your closet. No, I haven't. I'm boring. I'm married forever. I OK, haven't. Carol, off you go. Good luck. I'm so frightened I can't tell you. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Nice to see you. Hi, hello, I'm Danielle. Carol. Nice to meet you. Is it nice scary? Very scary. Very scary. Yeah. I'm so hello. shaky. I'm hello. So you look divine. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Oh. I heard you were come. We had all sorts of rumours about who was going to be here. Hello, you. my darling. You, nice How to are see you? you. Nice to see you. How's it going? Good oh, was coming. Oh, we sort of got a, a kind of thing okay. today oh, that you were coming. Oh, did you? The papers around you today. Oh. So how many more to come? We don't know. We don't know. Nobody will tell us. Oh, I just love it. Do you want another one?
I'm Donny Tourette. I'm a lead singer for Towers of London. I, th I think you could probably sum up our band um, in a sentence of punk rock and roll stars, really. But we supported Guns N' Roses. We uh, opened Reading Festival. So if, if you're lucky enough to get to go on tour with the Towers of London, um, you're pretty much in for a, a pretty, pretty wild travelling party. We, go, we take it full tilt. We, we probably push things further and go past barriers more than any other band does out there. Plus it's the worst. We've got a bad reputation, I think. As it happens, I do seem to get in, land myself in a bit of trouble. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> it's my mum. I've got a few dirty habits. <laughs> Never lived to see. <clears throat> I seem to have been born with a lot of phlegm. So spitting is a regular occurrence. And it's, it's not through anger or through <laughs> you. It's just because I need to spit a lot. Maybe that might <laughs> it off. I don't really have a clue how I'll get on in the house. Um, I haven't really given it too much thought. I think I'm just going to have a laugh, really, see how I roll. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Donny Tourette! Sunshine! Is all these people feeling fucking rock and roll? Excuse your language. Let's get you in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Donny Tourette. Which way am I supposed to go, mate? Christ, Hello, Sunshine. Used to come around to my house. A Berkshire boy. Right, well, no, not Berkshire, but a Buckinghamshire. Buckinghamshire. I haven't lived there for ages. How you doing, son? You alright? You alright, mate? Yeah, I'm alright. Right. Donny, I'm But they can all Donnie. fucking do one, can't they? You know what? He really did smell like a brewery, and indeed, what a heady brew we have in there, eh? Uh, the Queen of Bollywood, Shilpa Shetty. Uh, Fleet Street's cattiest hack, Carol Malone, and a bona fide rock god uh, who loves his mummy very, very much. And who didn't really score that well with the crowd here tonight, Donny Tourette. Let's see if he can win them over over the next few days. And we're not finished yet. No, we're not. See you off the break. <laughs> Welcome back to 
Celebrity Big Brother. OK, so far eight celebrities have gone into that house and it's time now to meet number nine. Hi, I'm Ian H. Watkins. <laughs> I think people know me mostly for uh, being in the group Steps, uh, with cheesy dance routines and cheesy clothes. In fact, everything about it was cheese. Everybody loves a bit of cheese. But the thing is, nobody admits it, but at heart, they're a cheese freak. Yeah. You know, it wasn't meant to be cool. We all knew what it was. We were just, we were laughing with it, rather than people laughing at us, we hope. <laughs> Um, yeah, basically what I do now, um, I'm a job in actor. So, you know, I've done musicals, um, I've done plays, radio dramas, um, a few pantomimes. When the lights go on, the smiles take it on and it showbiz. <laughs> I have decided to do this for a number of reasons. Um, firstly, because people's perception of me is that I am that blonde knob in steps. And I want to show people that I've grown up a little bit. I'm not blonde anymore. I'm a little bit of a knob, but I like to have fun. <laughs> what do you call a donkey with three legs? Wonky. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Ian H. Watkins! <laughs> would kind of fit the mood right now. Um, I was thinking... <laughs> Very well, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm shaking. I'm so nervous. Oh, Hi, yeah. guys! Listen, today was a very big day for you, wasn't it? Because you came out yeah. in the sun. Why did you choose today, coming out just before you go in, sort of thing? Um, just because, do you know what? I'm really proud of who I am, and I just want everybody to know. So. It's a brave thing to do, and it's quite the day to do it. Do that, and then come into the Big Brother house. Why not do it all in one day? Hey, why not? <laughs> um, now listen, what are you most most dreading in there? What would be your worst scenario? Um, crotch shots, maybe. <laughs> crotch shots? OK, we'll try not to go for too many of those. And what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to, you know, I just want to have a lot of fun, make maybe some wicked friends, and just be myself. OK, well, in you go. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Here they are. Hello. Oh, that's the Hello. Hello. Hi Hello. there. Hello. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Hi guys. I'm so happy. Oh, it's on. Oh, I'm good to see you. Are you okay? Oh, bless you. Oh, really good. Thank you. Are you scared? Hello there. Yeah. 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 They're good. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm Carol. That's a good time. Nice to meet you. You too, my darling. Well. 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 nice to meet you, mate. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. Oh, no, listen, I can't bear it. I just want to watch. OK, from the nifty nine, let's jack it up to a tip-top ten. Hi, I'm Cleo Rockos. <laughs> 
the public would probably think I was most famous for being in Kenny Everett's show and co-starring with him. Wasn't that just great? And Kenny and I just got on so well. We just spent every second together on and off camera. We had the best time and it was just like living in a bubble of glee and then suddenly it would be on television. Fancy a bit. Uh, OK. This bit. <laughs> I really love doing the characters. Hello, I'm Tiara Me. It's really simple, right? Because I'm Nano's little princess. Tiara! I do sometimes decide to go out and be somebody else completely for a change. Hi, I'm Dorothy Montgomery and I'm one of Cleo's richest and most glamorous friends. I'd rather think that I wasn't really born but sort of a happy doodle on on God's telephone pad that that leapt off. I really am nauseatingly happy. I suffer from happiness. That's a, a truth. I don't know how else to say it, but I love the feeling of feeling happy. <laughs> on Big Brother, you, you, you could expect the unexpected, so it's better not to expect anything. I just love the opportunity to get out there and um, have some fun in the house and have a bit of a shriek. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Cleo Ruckus! Kenny would have made about you going into the house. He'd think I was a complete loon, but he'd love watching it. Well, you are a complete loon, aren't you? I hope so. <laughs> Yay! We hope so too. And are you planning to do lots of characters for us in there? Uh, I've got some friends that I may be bringing in. Are you, are you single at the moment, Claire? Yes. Ah, so would you, would you be looking for love? Well, um, I'm into oil. Old, ill and loaded. <laughs> yes, you might be happy. Okay, Cleo, good luck. In you go. Thank you. See you. Hello. I know. Hi. How do you do? Delighted. Hi there, Ian. Good evening. Nice How do you do? Evening. Hello, Joe. Hello. How nice to you? meet you. Hi, I'm Shubba. How do you do? Hello, Leo. Leo, nice to I'm Cleo. You, People are going to get confused. Leo, that's mine. <laughs> How are you, darling? Well, uh, thanks. Yeah. How are you? I've met you before, yeah. Sure. You long have time a long time ago. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Good you evening. Nice to meet you, too. I saw we've got matching hairdos. I'm feeling at home already. This is a little bit bigger than mine. Yours is a bit longer than mine. You can't see it. Hello. Cleo. Cleo and Leo are kind of separated at birth, though, and they're facing each other. It's like looking into a mirror. Okay. Was. Okay, so there was ten. Room for one more. Hi, I'm Dirk Benedict. Well, the first time 
The general public knew I was alive was as a result of Battlestar Galactica. Then I was launched into the public of America and eventually around the world. Changed my life. After Battlestar Galactica, I did a show called The A-Team. My name is uh, Templeton Peck, and uh, believe it or not, I am here to rescue you. That was, that was great, great, great fun. Spaceman was just a, a more shallow, if you can believe that, version of Starbuck. So, yeah, as I think about it, every character I've done has gotten more and more shallow, uh, vapid. Uh, I don't know what that means. I have to think about that. We've never really met, but Murdoch's told me all about you. Women did throw themselves at me, and I got very adept at catching. But uh, I'm not very good at keeping. Oh, that seems appropriate. Yeah. Still single. I hope there's some women there of a certain age. I don't want them to all be like my daughters. What really worries me about being on this show is, is if there are people who are just confrontational. I'll find a corner and run away, run away, run away. I'm just an old TV actor, come on. It, it's, it's everything I don't like. I don't like groups, I don't like belonging, I don't like tasks, I don't like having to work with groups. So why am I doing it? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Dirk Benedict. myself up as sacrifice for the good of the A team. We really one of us one of us one of us you know it's the first time anybody had to tell me where the camera was. Uh, hey be, come on you're a celebrity you should know these things. No I must be losing it. Somebody from the A team had to finally come back to a United Kingdom and represent it. So thank you for doing that. Listen are you single still? Am I still what? Still single? I'm I'm still single. What kind of girls do you like? In the third row, right down there. Third, so. Wait, still... There might be someone in there for you, Dad. It's time for you to go in and find out. Take it away. I love it when a plan comes together. Oh boy, now begins the torture. The golden door. Huh? So how's oh, Sydney? I'm home. Okay. Hello. 
I'm home. Hello. I'm home. Oh, I love what you've done with the room. <laughs> this is Dirk Benedict. Jermaine, nice to meet you. What's the first name? Shilpa. Shilpa. I'm Dirk. But I used to be. I used to be. I don't know. Hello, I'm shell shocked. I'm what? Cleo. 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 How do you do? How do you do? Carol. used to be blonde. <laughs> it's my prop. I can't walk and talk without a cigar. How you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. What you I'm sorry. Well, we'll find Leo. out. We'll, Leo. 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 Hello. So many people. I'm Joe. Joe, how are you? I'm quite easy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> I love that. He said he wanted to go for a woman of a certain age, but he went for the youngest one, didn't he? Daniel? Well, hi. <laughs> Okay, so there's, there's our Motley crew. We've got Jermaine Jackson, Danielle Lloyd, Ken Russell, Joe O'Mara, Leo Sayer, Shil Pachetti, Carol Malone, Donnie Tourette, Ian H. Watkins, Claire Rockus, and Dirk Benedict. Okay, so 11 brand new celebrities settling into their brand new home. But Big Brother wouldn't be Big Brother without throwing a spanner in the works. That spanner will officially be thrown into the works on Friday when the first family of Big Brother will be moving in. And that family will adopt one of the celebrity housemates as their own. And do you know what? If I was a housemate, I would do everything in my power not to be adopted. OK, if you want to be a housemate in Big Brother 8, the first audition starts this Saturday in Glasgow at the SECC. Go to channel4.com forward slash big brother for all the details. And I'm going to see you on Friday at 8.30. Hey, it's good to be back. Good night. I like it. I like it. I'm going to keep it. I'll put your other around. But how old do I have my name? Yours is so empty, It has no name on it. Oh, I have a cigar. I have one big habit. It's no, just, it's, it's just cigar. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Did they let you in with that? They said actually. You no could... cigars, no Benedict. That was my deal. Yeah, yeah. But they said you could they bring in. They counted them, I bet. They did. Of course they did. Or two bottles of wine. Oh, I yeah. didn't know that either. Which you've got to be in your case, so that I ah, said, couldn't do it. Yeah, you can't get in. No. Deodorant's perfume. <laughs> well, I like uh, I like scotch, but then you're not allowed. Uh, you asked for the scotch today, because I heard through someone's earphones. I heard someone wants a bottle of scotch. I heard them say, "No, we can't have it." I know. That was me. <laughs> Sorry? Sorry, Johnny, I have. Is there a um, cooker? No? Oh, no. I thought it might be a hobby. Okay, well. Jerry will have one. He'll have one. Because he's, he's a guy. I should check out the digs. Huh? Seeing so, we're going to live here. Hello? Give or take. I mean. Thank you, Bank on stage. Ooh. Me? Yeah. Can we ask well, that listen, question? Listen, is, that listen, a, listen. is that in the rules? I don't know. I have them here listen, so far. I have to Jermaine will know. I know. He's a contract guy. <laughs> no, he has.